Chapter 1, In My Practice. In my practice, many of my clients don't know the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist. These are not ignorant people at all. Some have earned impressive degrees, and many struck me as brilliant in their own ways. They simply don't know this particular piece of information. Their lack of knowledge has become apparent in a variety of ways. Once, after finishing a long clinical interview with a client, he looked at me expectantly. When I asked if he had a question for me, he asked impatiently, so what's the prescription, doc? When I explained that I was a psychologist and not a psychiatrist, and that I didn't prescribe medication, he seemed completely shocked. Another time, a mother who was bringing her 12-year-old son to his first appointment asked if she could have a few minutes alone with me. She delivered an impassioned speech detailing her stance against psychiatric medication for children and described how she couldn't sleep the previous night because she was so afraid that I would recommend medication for her strong-willed, possibly hyperactive boy. She seemed quite relieved when I explained who I was and what I did. I've often wondered why so many people have such trouble separating psychologists from psychiatrists. The similarity of the word certainly doesn't help. They both start with psych and end with ist. The media doesn't help either. So often in movies, TV shows, and news reports, the names of the mental health professions, especially psychologists and psychiatrists, get jumbled. I've come to the conclusion that part of my job, when I speak to new or prospective clients, is to make sure that they understand the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist. I consider it part of the informed consent process, an important element of what clients need to know in order to make an educated decision about whether to move forward with treatment.